Okay. Roller coasters, right? Everybody talks about startup life or business life, or life in general as being a bit like a roller coaster. And we all kind of think we know what that means, don't we? It's full of ups, it's full of downs. Well, actually, there's a different meaning to it as well. So this lady here, what, what emotion is she feeling here? What emotion? Panic? Fear? She's got kind of a smile on her face as well, hasn't she? Yeah? Well, this, is, this is excitement, OK? She's excited. This is exhilarating. There's a positive emotion associated with a negative emotion here. Now, if you spot people in the line or a queue for a roller coaster, what are you going to see? You're going to see two types of people, right? You're going to see the people who are really excited about it. And you're going to see the people that are really scared. Oh, I don't know if I can do this. I think I should. In fact, that was like me just before going on on the stage. I don't know if I can do this. I'm really scared. And the people who are really hyped before they go on and they do things. It's the same emotion you're feeling. It's just your outlook is different. Both of these are fear, OK? Excitement and fear are two sides of the same coin. And you just have to understand that and notice that in yourself and the people that you're working with. And as I mentioned before, we name it to tame it. Here's a great model you can use when it comes to fear. So before coming on stage today, I was talking to some of my friends and fellow speakers um, about imposter syndrome. I was like, I don't know if I can do this. I'm not the right sort of person to come on the stage today. Why are these guys going to listen to me? There's going to be nobody here. All of those feelings of fear came to me when I was just about to get on the stage here. And that's because I was in the fear zone, right? And what's great about the fear zone is it tells you you're pushing yourself to the place you need to be. If you're feeling the things in the fear zone, great. It's pushing you out of your comfort zone. You need to go through the learning zone. A big part of me in the learning zone is being here on stage today. I'm learning. This is actually all right. I'm quite enjoying myself right now. I'm dealing with the challenges and problems. I'm extending my comfort zone. I'm learning new skills. And that pushes me into the growth zone. My comfort zone gets bigger because I'm pushing my way through fear. Now, of course, that's a two thing. That can be like a rubber band, that fear. That fear can pull you back. If you're operating from a place of scarcity, if you've had a bad night's sleep even, that feeling of fear can pull you back into your comfort zone, and you never, you never make change. You never grow. You never expand. So if you're not feeling fear, you're probably doing it wrong. And what's really interesting about the big enterprise CEOs that I work with is they're just in the comfort zone. Okay? They're running multi-billion dollar companies, and they're a little bit bored. There's nothing there that's really pushing them forward. There's nothing there that's pushing them forward into something else. Okay? This is the model they need to look at. So you need to extend the comfort zone into that. So again, that fear zone can pull you back or it can push you forward. If you're feeling fear, good. It means you're in the right place. You like that lady on the roller coaster right there. Name it to tame it. And we also see some of the challenges from before, right? The things the team were coming to us about, the monkeys, the superficial ones, these are all symptoms of being in the fear zone. See it in your team. See it in your employees. Oh, look, they're in the fear zone. I know exactly what's going on. I know exactly why they're saying that right now. They're saying that because they're in the fear zone. I need to help them get through that. Imposter syndrome is a feature and not a bug. If you're feeling imposter syndrome, great, you're doing the right thing. If you're scared, great, you're doing the right thing. Embrace it. It is scary, but that's where growth comes from. <laughs>